What you doing now, Dave? I don't know. You got a mess over here. Oh, you're not lying. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the stereo system to work properly. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This is a video I took back in 2017 when we picked up our RV. This is all the uh, satellite stuff. For your box when you get it. They yeah. ran a separate HDMI. Someone ran a separate HDMI for the satellite box because they don't know how this works. <laughs> and I'll explain that in a sec. But the white one, this is the one you'd hook your receiver to because that is what goes to the roof. Mm -hmm. These ones are the ones that go to the uh, tripod. And okay. then one carries from here to the bedroom, and it's a separate roof one, too. Okay. And what I meant by this thing is this receiver on the back side of this, about right here on the flip side of that, mm -hmm. there's four HDMI inputs. Mm -hmm. There's there's a DVD, there's Blu-ray DVD, there's a game, and then there's a satellite. And they're all inputs, and there's one output that goes to the TV. Right. So they went through a lot of hassle to get this cable down there when all they had to do is simply hook to the box. The TV to the box. So when you get your satellite now, they've already did this, so you don't have to mess with that if you don't want to. Right. The part about hooking the satellite box to this is once it's hooked to this, you're 5.1 to this. Okay. So right now, if you use this, you're not going to have satellite in 5.1. Mm -hmm. It'll just be what the TV sees in here. Right. So is, is this a surround sound? Yes, this is a surround sound. Where are the sound. speakers at? The speakers are up in the roof, two there, two in the back wall. Yeah, one down there for the center. Sweet. Right. How do you find a station here? I think it's on one already. AM tuner, FM tuner. On my station. I'm trying to get the stereo system to work properly. And, I mean, you, as you can tell, this bundle of goo, if you want to call it that, a bundle of wires, is just like all over the place back there. Good grief. They, that, these are all the speaker wires okay. for the surround sound. Which we rarely ever, ever, ever use. Well, we never used it because it wasn't hooked up right. And then these were in the back of this selector box right here. You see the back of it? Yeah, I'll, I'll plug it in the back. Uh huh. And uh, I'm trying to figure out where they go. And then you have your. DVD player. Which you still need that. Yeah. Then you had this monstrosity. Yeah. When, what is that? That's the amp and radio and everything else. And I know it's nice to have a radio too. So. Oh boy. I figured out why we weren't getting FM radio. Why weren't we getting FM radio? Because there's no antenna plugged into the FM radio. But there's one. I saw that's, something. That's an AM antenna. Oh really? Yeah, that little thing up there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, but, in this bundle of joy, one of these things, that says antenna on it. Mm-hmm. And, like I said, that was screwed into the back of this box. Right here. What's the goal here? The goal is to get it where I can use my stereo system the surround sound with the TV and the DVR. Are you trying to eliminate anything or just make all this what you have work? I'm just trying to make it work. Okay. So I don't have to buy something new. I'd rather buy something new that's really easy, compact. You know, I don't want the sound bar or anything like that because I already have the speakers. So we're going to give it a go. What have you found out so far? Nothing. <laughs> What's all this stuff over here, too? Well, this is from the inputs, the, the satellite, and this is from the, uh, when we put out the dome. And these are two cables. If you have cable in the campground, mm. 
they'll hook the cable outside. And then you got all this yeah. lovely stuff back here. What is all this? This is, I, I, I don't know. Some sort of splitters. For a non-stereo guy, you got your work cut out for you. I know. Then you got this funny... That thing's for the remote control. Oh, that works good. <laughs> it used to. When we had batteries. What do you mean I, it used to? I don't know if it'll work good now. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. then this, I haven't figured out. I know. Because this says to TV too. So I'm taking that to the bedroom TV. That's the bedroom TV. Okay. I'm taking it. But these, main TV, the other one says cable. That's an antenna. Don't know what that one is. Then not sure what that, that one goes to that thing. I don't know. <laughs> so it's going to be a trial and error. Trial and error. Frustration. And this, this thing's a power line. 12 volt power line. Good luck. I took the bedroom TV out and made sure all the connections were right in there. Got them all plugged in right and everything. You think you do? Yeah. Well, I think what's up going on up here is you had about four or five people go through this thing. Maybe a technician, or they got stuff screwed into everything and everywhere. And I took the subwoofer out a while ago because I couldn't shut the amp off. Oh, and yes. the amp would always stay running and draw, and draw power. power on the batteries. Yeah, drew quite a bit too. Yeah, it did. What are you going to do now? Try reassembling. There's no tag on it, huh? Well, this tag says TV2. Oh, okay. TV2. But why would I need that splitter that they have in there? This, These two. This thing back here. Splitter. Try to figure that out, huh? Because I don't know where this went. And that went to the back of it. So, why don't we just use this cable and get rid of this? Now, I don't know what this one is. You know what you want to do is take this door off. There you go. That'll make it easier. Having somebody else do it would make it easier. Okay, now these jacks, they went up in there. This is a plug for a remote. This goes up in here. Like that. So what I'm going to do is take one of these. We won't be able to hook this part up until we bring the lolly box back from SAT. Okay, we're going to call this the SAT because when we hook up the wally box, we use either these two to go to the SAT, satellite antennas. And then there's we use an HDMI to go from the, the wally box to the TV. But there's another port that you could use this on too. Okay, now the TV2. And that's a set two. Mm -hmm. So I'm considering that to be TV. Alright. And this says the TV2 right on there. It says the TV2 right on there. So the first one is in the from sat. That one's going into the two. TV. TV2. TV2, which would be, I'm thinking, that one right there. SAT? Okay. Alright. So now this we throw over here. Okay. Now this was the power to this thing. I see. Power up is the AM antenna for this. It's easier for you to take motors apart and put them back together. Yeah, it is. This. Yeah. Not that. Now 
that's supposed to be the FM antenna and seeing how this says antenna as you can tell at one time something was screwed to it hmm. now this one is main TV which we don't use and this is the mystery cable and this one is cable <laughs> cable television which, which we rarely use so you don't need that one either don't need this one either okay I'm just gonna lay them in the back back here not gonna cut it off just yet huh no I'm not cutting them off <laughs> and this is an HDMI and I have another HDMI up in here right here where do they go to this one was to the main TV this HDMI, I don't know where it goes. And this goes to the AV ports on the back of the TV in the bedroom. I'm thinking in this AV port, these, I think they go to the back of the tuner. Well, where do these get plugged in at? Don't know yet. We'll figure <laughs> And this cable is, this is the I don't know cable. Oh no, it goes right to here. Oh, I see. So instead of using this orange one, we don't want to do this one. I know just enough to be super dangerous. All right. Yep. It's got to have, it's got to be select which ones go depending upon what system you're using. So you're not going to be using that one anymore? No, nope, well you'll be using this one instead. <laughs> Which one's from here? What did you figure out? This is the DVR HDMI. DVD. Left, rear. Oh boy. And which ones are the negatives and which ones are the positives? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> oh no. I'm taking all the colors of the positives. Right, rear. Well, what you doing? Throwing some Boy Scout knots in here? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, but you got kicked out of Boy Scout. That's why I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that way. Why did you get kicked out of Boy Scout? I wouldn't follow what they wanted me to do. Came down to doing dishes, doing KP one night, and I said, no. I did it the night before. And they said, eh, well, you know how that goes. After we got back from camp and... They notified my parents they didn't want me back anymore. Not a team player. Uh -huh. That's the way they said it. You said there's no I in team, but that, there is an M and a me E. That's right. And it ain't for me. And it ain't for me. <laughs> power cord, power cord. I'll go up here. I'll plug this in. Say right there. A DVD player. Plug that in, we'll say right there. So this monstrosity nightmare and all its grandeur and glory. What in the world? Well, I hooked up the center speaker and the two mystery speakers and I believe the center speaker probably goes to the bedroom but it sounds a whole lot better and we'll have to try the rest well I got the surround sound working with the uh, DVD so uh, we'll have to wait till we get the cable box in here and see if the rest of it works 
So now that you got done with that mess with the electronics, how many beers was that? Oh, that was a six pack. Really? Yeah. You seem kind of frustrated doing that, but. But it was all indoors. Yeah. Didn't have to buy anything. Didn't have to go get anything. Just sit there and scratch my head. Yeah. After dealing with all that wiring and all that, all of a sudden I have a de desire to have spaghetti for dinner. With beer. With beer. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.